This 1950s-era Republic RF-84 photo reconnaissance aircraft recently went through a significant restoration. Then, after receiving a showroom quality coat of paint at the Air National Guard paint facility, it is now ready to be put back on display. This aircraft was flown by the 174th Tactical Reconnaissance Squadron of the Iowa Air Guard in Sioux City from 1958 to 1961. The RF-84 Thunder Flash, a variation of the Republic F-84, was the first of the modern jets to be specifically designed for photo reconnaissance. The RF-84 was one of over a dozen variations of the F-84. The biggest difference in appearance was the addition of the camera payload area here on the nose of the aircraft. The air intakes on the RF model were then moved here to the wings along the fuselage. The Thunder Flash was developed for application during the Korean War, so when the Air Guard received the RF-84 after the war, the aircraft was still relatively new. A first in photo reconnaissance, the RF-84 used a viewfinder with camera controls in order to focus on specific targets. The tactical part of the RF-84 mission meant pilots would typically find themselves over hostile airspace, flying low and slow by today's standards, and usually alone. It was a precarious time in the late 1950s to fly photo reconnaissance. With both the U.S. and Russian fingers on the nuclear trigger, America's Cold War with the Soviet Union demanded quick, reliable intelligence, and that's what the Thunder Flash could provide. After receiving the mission, the innovative airmen of the Air Guard quickly adapted to the new mission and found ways to improve the process. Retired Master Sergeant Dwayne McCollum worked as a photo lab technician in Sioux City, where film from the RF-84 was developed. Well, the cam repair people took and, and got a salvage truck and put a darkroom on it so that you saw those guys taking the magazine out. Okay, they could give that to the truck. And then the truck was a dark room, so that while they're driving to the hangar, they can take the film out, put it in the can, so that by the time they reach the hangar, they're ready to bring it up to the photo lab. The change in procedure, according to McCollum, cut significant time off developing procedures and resulted in getting images to the warfighters much more quickly. This was part of how the 174th eventually became the Air Guard's top reconnaissance unit in 1961. Today, 50 years after flying the RF-84, the 174th is still the active flying unit of the Iowa Air Guard's 185th Air Refueling Wing, and even though the mission and aircraft have changed numerous times through the years, the rich heritage, pride, and ingenuity of its airmen continue to bring the kind of value that only the Air Guard can bring to the mission of the Air Force. In Sioux City, Iowa, I'm Master Sergeant Vince DeGroat, Air Force News.